Well, you go into detail in the book with some case studies and uh, actual anecdotes uh, that bear out what retirees need to keep in mind in this new economy. Mm -hmm. But two words keep coming up in this book, and it's balance and efficiency. And, and you've talked about that a little bit mm -hmm. here. But what is, if you were going to talk to folks about a tax-efficient approach, how do you know if you've actually <laughs> achieved it? And knowing that the uncertainty is always going to be there with the federal right. government, whether they're going to change the rules on us <laughs> and, and end up taxing it more, changing the retirement in a, uh, anyway, balance and efficiency. How do you get to those two things and know that you've achieved tax mm -hmm. efficiency? Well, in the book, there is a calculation that we refer to as the RD factor, uh, retirement distribution factor. And it's a formula that I came up with to measure how efficient your retirement savings is. And so by going through the, uh, and, and applying how much of your income is going to be tax-free, how much of it is going to be taxable, and how much of it is going to have some tax implications, you come up with a scale of from zero to 100. And 100 would mean that 100% of your retirement income is non-taxable. Zero would mean that all of it's subject to tax. And what I encourage people to do is to try to achieve a RD factor of somewhere between right around 50, so 40 to 60, somewhere in there. Because if we try to go for 100% tax-free, we're giving up all those tax advantages today that we could enjoy with a 401k and so forth. Uh, so we want to try to go for somewhere around 50 so that part of your, your retirement is going, income is going to be subject to tax, but we can control it by uh, taking money from all three legs and how much we take from each leg. And you found you've had success with this. You've hit that sweet spot for a lot of folks at about 50%? If we have enough time before they retire. <laughs> Okay. It's not easy. Um, uh, one of the mistakes that I think a lot of people make uh, is that they save everything in a 401k uh, or some kind of tax deferred, and for various reasons that we've already discussed. So I have somebody who is retiring, and they're already 64, and they want to retire next year, and everything is in a 401k account. It's all tax deferred. There's not a whole lot that we can do at this point we can change some things around. We can change the way they save. Uh, we can try to stru stru uh, structure it in some way of creating tax efficiency. But uh, there's not a whole lot that you can do without shooting yourself in the foot. Well, that was another question that I was naturally going to come out of this with, which was, what are the biggest mistakes people make? You just <laughs> mentioned one. What's another right. one? Do you have another one? Well, that's probably the biggest mistake that people make who actually have saved money. Uh, number one is uh, starting too late, not saving enough.